YouTube, it's Satch. Welcome to the Porsche Network. Welcome to 2020. I hope you've all had a great Christmas, a great New Year, and I hope you've really just had a nice relaxing time with the family. This is going to be my first video of 2020, and well, what a way to get into 2020 with announcing that I'm buying a new Porsche and I'm picking up a new Porsche in this video. Unfortunately though, it does mean that I do need to trade one of my other cars in order to buy a new Porsche. Many people who know me on this channel know that I absolutely love this 911-997 Carrera 4S, so I can tell you categorically it's 100% not going to be that car that I'm trading. It also can't be the Boxster 986 because, well, that's the giveaway car. So let's look at what it could be. It could be my Cayman S, my blue 987 Cayman S. It could be my daily driver, my Mercedes-Benz E-Class. It could be the other daily driver, the Kia Sportage. My wife is such a good driver. Look, watch, look how she modifies her cars. And it could be this little Vauxhall Corsa, which actually nobody knows I even have. So before we go and pick up my new Porsche, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more Porsche hints, tips, reviews and guides, then please consider clicking that subscribe button and click the bell. Also, to the existing viewers or anybody who's watching this video, if you're interested in Porsche tools and products, I'm going to put a link in the description below this video, linking to my top 10 Porsche tools and products for 2020. So please check that out. So the car that I'm going to be trading, I'm going to be driving it to a place called German Motors and a place called Leeds, Northern England. So I'm going to go now, pick up the car that I'm going to be trading, drive that car down to Leeds, pick up my new Porsche, do a little bit of a reveal, and then drive that car back to home in Newcastle upon Tyne. So instead of me rambling on, let's get down to Leeds, baby. Let's just pretend I didn't say baby. If you've worked out which car I'm trading, then well done. That sun is blinding. It is the Mercedes-Benz E-Class that I'm trading, and it's good news because it means I'm not getting rid of one of my Porsches. I'm actually gaining a new Porsche. But you know, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class is my daily driver, so I'm gonna have to replace it with something which is a daily driver again in the Porsche range, and it probably narrows it down a little bit. And I'm really sorry to those who thought I was gonna buy a GT3 or a GT4. Wishful thinking. Now the Mercedes has been a real workhorse for me. It's covered 164,000 miles and to be honest with you, has very, very rarely let me down. It's had, it has needed a few things doing to it, like a new battery, a new shock absorber, but this new Porsche that I'm gonna get has a lot to live up to, reliability wise. All right, enough of this suspense because I'm pulling up at the place right now. And my new Porsche is right there. It's going to be interesting to see how much it actually costs me to fill this tank. Yeah, I'm going to need a paper round, definitely. Alright, so I'm in the Cayenne now. It's a Porsche Cayenne. It's a 3 litre turbo diesel and I really need to take a second to just look at how clean this car is and just, just appreciate how clean and tidy and and nice this car is because under my ownership it'll probably never be this clean again. So you might be asking yourself, why did I get a Cayenne? Why did I not get a Macan? Why did I not get a Panamera? Well, the three litre turbo diesel in the Cayenne actually for a family car has good miles per gallon. I know under normal circumstances you probably wouldn't look at miles per gallon when, dr when driving a Porsche. But in this case, it's my daily driver, so yes, I am going to be looking at miles per gallon. The car has lots of space, you know, I need this car for family use and for a little bit of work Please use, so... Yeah, okay. 
I put a lot of boxes, I put a lot of payload in the back of the car, so I need something which is gonna be absolutely huge when I fold the seats down, and this will be. I also need space to put kids' toys in, you know, kids' bikes in, luggage in when we're going on trips away. Obviously, it has to look good. If I'd bought a Panamera or a McCann, they, would, they look good as well, so it was impossible to fail on that one, providing I was buying a Porsche as a daily driver. And for smooth and ease of use, PDK or Tiptronic. This is a Tiptronic gearbox. And overall, I just felt like the Cayenne suited my needs that little bit more. So why not a Panamera? Well, the simple fact is, it doesn't have enough space. It's less accessible to get things in and out of the rear boot. And what about the McCanns? Well, the McCanns were coming in at just above my budget, and again, the boots aren't as big in the McCann as they are in the Cayenne. So the Cayenne was a perfect fit for me. I'm going to be doing some detailed reviews on this car but for now it's got sport design kit which is what attracted me to the car it's got the 21 inch turbo 2 alloys the sport design kit obviously has the flared arches the color coded flared arches uh, the black surrounds around the windows and a few other bits and bobs that contribute to the sport design kit that is ultimately what I was looking for. I need to turn right here. So I'm super excited to be driving this car and I really want to know what you guys think about the car. If you can, please put a comment in the box below. Do any of you guys own a Cayenne? Are you thinking of buying a Cayenne as a daily driver? What are your experiences, good or bad? I'm really curious to know. Um, I'm really excited about owning this car. I think it'll be a perfect fit for the family and a perfect fit for the channel as well. It gives me an opportunity to do a lot more videos on a car like this which is not necessarily um, sort of focused on the sports cars and of course at this point I've probably already triggered all of you guys who say it's not a real Porsche it's a VW 70-80% VW whatever you know that, that's fine I can live I can live with that it is an expensive VW have I just been ripped off I think I've just been ripped off now I had to pull over to show you this but if you are buying your own Porsche and you're interested in making sure that it's in good condition then I'd highly recommend the iCarsoft POR version 2.0, which I'll put in the link uh, in the description below this video. Guys, thanks for joining me on this reveal video. I'm really sorry it wasn't a GT3 or a GT4. I'm working on that, I promise you. And if you enjoyed this reveal video, please hit that like button. If you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. I post new Porsche videos every single week, hints, tips, reviews, and guides, and it'd be great to have you around as a subscriber. Special offer today just for you guys. Anybody who subscribes or likes the video today gets 10 years good luck and a free Lamborghini. I'll see you on the next episode of the Porsche Network. Aston.